Hello. Team Sonic Racing is out. And it's pretty good. It's it's a uh, it's not perfect, but it's it's pretty good, I guess. It is actually really good though. Um basically I'm just going to record this quick video here. Give me my first uh, impressions on it. I say first impressions because I haven't really played that much of the game. I mean, like, yeah, the game came out, like, on Tuesday, and now it's Friday, I know, but, like, I haven't been playing it that much, so I'm just gonna give you my, to my best ability, I'll give you my impressions of the game. Just to give you a, uh, just give you perspective on how much I've played, I've really only played online with teams. I have, I've only played, like, the first two stages of the story mode. Because honestly, I, that's the least thing. That's the thing I'm least interested in. So I haven't really been playing that, but I will get to that soon. I don't think that would affect my opinion that much because it just seemed like it's just uh, regular races, but with like different objectives. I, I'm not really too crazy about that, but we're gonna we're gonna find out soon. As for everything else, the online, the customization, I think it's all good, but I think it could be better. First of all, customization, I, actually that, that doesn't need to be better actually, that's actually pretty good. Uh, you can change like everything, you can change your cart, cart, all the cart colors, you can change the texture of the, of the cart, so I think that's really cool. And they even get into like stats when you change the wheels and the frame and, and etc, you know, like, like Mario Kart 8. So I'm glad they did that, so I'm just getting some good stuff out of the way first. Even though people usually start with bad, whatever. Let's talk about the actual core gameplay first. So basically, it's Sonic and Sega All Stars Racing slash Transformed, except without the transforming elements. But there's also team mechanics. That's basically tra um, replacing the transforming. The new drawing for this game is the team mechanics, and I really like them because. It's just something different. You don't usually see this in games, even kart races that have teams. You don't see this kind of teamwork mechanic thing. If you're playing with your teammates, you can boost them by having this trail that follows you, and they can ride it and boost off of it. You can also trade uh, item boxes with teammates, say your teammates like in last maybe, or they're in a lower place I should say, and you need to, they need to get ahead a little bit, you can give them an item box, that's pretty cool. It's very simple, but honestly, it, it changes a lot. It really feels different from regular racers. It feels different from Mario Kart 8. So yeah, team elements are good. Characters, eh. I mean, it's a good selection of characters, minus like... Chows and Zavok. Even then, I don't really hate Zavok. I think he's alright. Could have had better, much better choices, but Zavok, he's okay. As for the actual characters, like, abilities... You actually can feel the difference when you play as like a different type of character. Because there are speed type characters, there are technique characters, and there's power characters. For example, if you play Sonic, you're gonna feel the difference in speed compared to when you play Knuckles, because he is much slower. However, he can like break through obstacles and stuff like that. And all the other power characters can do that. And technique characters like Tails, I think maybe they have better handling, I think. Yeah. And I think they may be able to may be able to drive over certain terrains that others can't. Maybe, or at least without slowing down. I think that's what they can do. I'm not sure. I might have to look into that. Also, good, good stuff. I that, my my problem with other racers, especially Mario Kart 8, is that when I play with other vehicle customizations and other characters, I can never feel the difference. Well, maybe sometimes, but only slightly. But in this game, you always feel the difference between the types of characters. As for the tracks, um, some of them feel a little bit plain. Some tracks are more like, kind of basic than others. It's okay, I mean, the main meat and potatoes of the game is the actual mechanics, and that's okay. As for what track is my favorite, honestly so far I think the uh, casino track is my favorite. The, the one that's based on Sonic Heroes. That one and... Planet Wisp, that one's a really good one. I think there's multiple variations of it, but I think one of the Planet Wisp ones... I'm sorry, I have to look into this stuff, like, because I've been playing, I haven't looked at, like, the track list 
since I've been playing online and I just see whatever comes up in the voting area. I'll just say the Planet Wisp one because I really like the the buzz saws in the way when you go over like the ramps. I think that's really cool. It's a fun obstacle. <clears throat> Sorry, fun obstacle. As for the online, yeah, we need to talk about the online. The actual connection is pretty good. I haven't had many issues with connection. A few times I've like teleported in front of, in front of, uh, behind people. That's all right though. I mean. It's gonna happen in any game, maybe it's just to switch online because Nintendo stinks when they're online. But the issue does not lie in like the connectivity, the issue lies in how it's like, how it, match, it, how it matches you with others. Because so many times have I gotten like four people in the, in the match, and it's just like, okay, let's start the match now and I'll fill in like 15 CPUs. I hate that so much, it ruins my experience with the game. Like. Like, it almost made me, like, say I did not like the game because I kept getting paired with CPUs and they were so bad that they were dragging me down that I, I was just getting low places every single time. And I almost started to hate the game for that. But as I started to get more human players matched with me, you know, I actually started to like the game after that because it was fun. And I actually had good teammates. But I just kept getting... Especially during the beginning, I kept getting paired with CPUs, and they're just terrible CPUs. And I still have this issue a little bit, not as much as I did when I started, but I still have this issue, and I hope they make it so that there's a certain amount of players needed in the match before it starts. They don't do that, though. They, the countdown just goes down, and it just starts. I mean, it doesn't wait for a certain amount of players. I don't, have, I don't, I don't care if it's 12 players, but at least make it like 8 to 10? before it starts because some of these some of these games I just get paired with only CPUs. Also, they need to change how characters are selected because if you join a match when the countdown timer is like almost counted down already, you get defaulted to Sonic and the countdown timer runs out, you don't have time to change character. Because of this issue, I've had rooms where like 10 of us are Sonic and they need to fix that <laughs> cuz it's really annoying. So most of my issues with the game are just kind of like little technical things that Sega could fix. They probably won't because they're Sega, but I don't know. Hopefully they prove me wrong. So yeah, then overall this is a pretty good game. I know it sounded pretty negative for most of it towards the end, but that's just because I really just... I, I like this game a lot so much that I really want the little things to go, like the little problems to go away. And I hope they get fixed. Um, Performance-wise... The Switch version is pretty good, I mean, there's like this one track where like, it goes down to like 15 FPS, but that was it. That was the only issue I had with the performance. It's, it's normally 30, yeah, it would be cool to have 60, but it's okay, I mean, as long as it looks better. So they did what they could with the, with the Switch. I mean, they're Sega, they're not Nintendo, they don't have the tools that Nintendo has to make, to optimize this thing. But they did a pretty good, uh, they did a pretty good job with what they had. Anyways, um... Yeah, it's a pretty good game. Pretty good. I mean, it's not gonna have like the same longevity as like Mario Kart 8, but it's a pretty cool little racing game. So let me know what you think of this game. I'm gonna be playing it for a little while. I don't know how long it'll keep me entertained, but I think it'll be a pretty decent while. So let me know what you think, and goodbye.